Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring you my weekly review of The Vampire Diaries on the CW. <coughs> Excuse me. This week we've seen Season 8, Episode 13, which is called The Lies Are Going to Catch Up With You. And I apologize for the lateness, but again, work, you know, the usual, you know, crap. <laughs> um, so I feel like I said in every video I do now, so... Um, you know, it is what it is, but I just watched the episode today, and I'm about to head off to work again, so this review is going to have to be a little bit more, uh, you know, quick, um, and brief with the way I touch on things, but I still wanted to get my thoughts out there. I thought this was a pretty good episode, you know, um, I don't think it was one of the best of the second half of the season we've gotten, um, not quite on par with the last few we've seen, really, in my opinion. But I still thought this was a fine episode. Of course, we've seen the return of, uh, you know, Kai in this episode, played by Chris Wood. Um, I know a lot of people are, are a big fan of uh, the Kai character. I thought he was an alright villain, um, but I wasn't really as crazy about him as others seem to be. But I do think it makes sense that he would uh, come back around this time, you know, with the whole Elena return thing coming up. Uh, we know Elena's going to wake up somehow, some way, so it kind of makes sense to have him back. Um, you know, and he is, uh, you know, he is semi-entertaining in this episode, you know, I like his line when he gets to Elena's coughing, hey there, sleepyhead, remember me? <laughs> I don't know. His delivery is, uh, you know, pretty fun sometimes, I'll give him that, with his, uh, lines. Um, and then another big part of this episode, we'll talk more about Kai, uh, at the end of the video, but, you know, another big part of this episode is, of course, uh, who kidnapped Stefan, and it turns out to be Dorian. Um, you know, that was a little, little bit of a letdown, uh, cause we were theorizing last week that, you know, like, some people are even, like, wildly guessing it's already Catherine or something like that. I don't think we're gonna see Catherine, uh, this soon, if at all. Um, if we do see her, it's gonna be in the last episode. Uh, you know, a lot of people, I, I was thinking maybe it could be, like, John or, uh, Jeremy or something like that. But, uh, you know, like, we're probably not going to get, like, big, you know, character returns like that, and like I said, until around the final episode or two. Um, with it being Dor Dorian, it was okay, though, you know, it sort of fit, you know, with what they're trying to do with, uh, Stefan right now. Um, just making him feel like, uh, shit, basically. <laughs> um, you know, with him being human now, he feels the uh, weight of everything more than ever. And Dorian's basically, like, another vehicle for that, you know, because apparently, uh, around the time of season three... Uh, when Klaus had Stefan, you know, going on that Ripper binge with him and such, um, when he was trying to create more hybrids. Uh, I like Klaus being mentioned in this episode, too, uh, you know, which was awesome. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, and apparently, uh, Dorian's family is one of the ones Stefan, uh, you know, messed with. You know, he killed his, uh, father and, uh, sister, I think it was. And, uh, then Stefan, of course, compelled him, and now Stefan's human, you know, all his compulsion throughout the years is wearing off on everyone. Um, so it worked, and, uh, of course, uh, Dorian takes him out, you know, into this, uh, random, uh, woods area. And he actually ends up shooting Stefan, but, you know, he ends up regretting it, you know, the difference between, uh, why and kill someone and actually doing it. You know, having that impulse on doing it's like a whole other, uh, discussion. And I thought some of those scenes were okay, you know, the back and forth talk about redemption and things like that. Um, I don't, I'm not sure what they're doing with Stefan right now. Like, a big theory right now is that he is going to be the one to die at the end in the last episode, and they're going to be at his funeral. Because we know there's some kind of funeral that takes place in the last episode, and it's someone Elena loves. Um, so yeah, Elena gets to wake up and go to a funeral. Another one. <laughs> um... But, you know, I have, I have mixed feelings on uh, Stefan going down this road, the writers taking him, that, are, that the writers are taking him on. Like, they're trying to paint Stefan to be so awful, whereas, you know, Damon's made just as many bad choices, or uh, they've both been under, <laughs> under thumbs of others before. Um, so I don't see why uh, Stefan's being made out to, you know, be so much worse in this angle. I, I don't know. You know, and Damon's not going to say, you know, he's done less than Stefan either, so I don't know why they're focusing on Stefan being the one that needs to, you know, completely pay, you know, for everything he's done. I, I don't know. Um, but, you know, we had a discussion last week. Apparently some of you don't like Stefan and you think he should just uh, die in a hole somewhere, but, I um, mean, yeah, I think Stefan deserves more than that, so it kind of feels odd that they're sort of uh, trying to force uh, something that where he doesn't deserve happiness. I, I don't know. But, uh, you know, that part, the, the scenes were alright, I guess. And, of course, Caroline shows up, but, uh, 
her blood doesn't heal Stefan anymore because he has a cure in him. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I didn't take notes on this episode either, but we also had uh, Bonnie, and, you know, she's trying to get into contact with Enzo, and she finds out through Kay that that psychic, psychic blast uh, actually sort of created this parallel dimension um, of her own, really, that she can only see. And uh, apparently Enzo's not quite in hell yet, so I think he is going to return somehow in the final episode. It was nice to see him and Bonnie briefly unite and embrace and such. I, I don't think Enzo's gone for good. Um, but Cade's specifically trying to track him down, though, to put a stop to it. So that, that's interesting, and he also didn't want Kai to slip out either. Um, so this is perfect. Maybe Catherine will slip out and escape in the finale. That'd be great. <laughs> Um, it, it's so it'd be so easy to do it. Just just bring Catherine Pierce back, please. <laughs> I mention that in every damn TVD video I do, but <laughs> um, I was wearing my Catherine shirt while watching the show too. So anyway, uh, that stuff is all right as well. Uh, and that was pretty much the episode. I know there are probably some things I'm forgetting to mention right now, but overall, I thought it was a fine episode. Not quite as good as the past few. Um, I'm not, I'm not, not as uh, Kai crazy as others, but I still thought it was a fine episode. I'm going to rate it about an 8.5 out of 10. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If there's anything else about it you want to talk about, feel free to leave a comment below. As always, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.